Well, our volume of chicks has increased. The um, isobrowns are out in the trailer. I put them there a few days after I did the first video because they were feathered out and ready to go. We're going to build the chicken tractor for these guys, hopefully today and tomorrow, and then get them out on Monday because they are filling up the kiddie pool. We're going to weigh them, and some of them are over a pound already. So we do a small, medium, and a large just to see what the growth rates are. And yeah, super fun. So this is a small chick, and we have 13.8 ounces. I'm going to say that this is a medium one, and we have 18.95 ounces. We're over a pound a bird. Okay, and here we have our feisty 20.25 ounce chick who thought that he or she should fly out of my arms, but did not because they didn't let go with their feet. Yep, that really big one was really big and throwing a pitch and a fit about being picked up. These guys are feisty. Um, they do not like it when I clean their enclosure. They peck at me. But they're always very happy when I bring them food. And I just cleaned their feeder like not two minutes ago. Look at that. Feeder full of chips. We've gone through about a bag and a half of chips so far. We've gone through about a bag and a quarter of chick feed. Um, between the ISAs and these guys. These guys eat. They drink, they eat, they sleep, they poop. That's what they do. They all seem fairly healthy so far. They are very lazy. Okay, even though we're not deliberately feeding these guys anything other than the chick starter because they actually do eat the wood chips, I am giving them grit. And that way they have something in their gizzard to help grind up that plant material. Nobody ever said they were smart. One of his jobs is to take the wood chips out. And of course, because he's little, he takes his time. But he does a good job. I know! This is the chicken tractor. It, my mother and I completed it this more, or this afternoon. It took us all day to finish it. One day project my butt. Um, I want to say that this took us like five days to build. Maybe six days. It, it was a lot and my back hurts. During the daytime the blue tarp will be pulled back to where the camouflage tarp is so that they can have about, you know, one third uh, shade and the third sunshine or approximately whatever. It's all chicken wire. We may have to reinforce with hardware cloth so that the little raccoons and skunkies don't pull the chickens through piecemeal. The cats thought that this was an absolutely fantastic project and wanted to be involved in every single aspect of it and now they're a little bit put out that they can't actually get inside. So I guess if we have a cat inside in the morning we'll know that we need to do a little bit more reinforcing. Okay, here are the little fatty Cornish crosses, and I had to divide them up between the kiddie pool and the old lawnmower box. So we're all going to sleep in the little corner there. We're feathering out. They are three weeks old today. Tomorrow they will be outside in the lawn, and I'll do a video on that. And um, you're going to get to see that, like, you know, cut to right now. Behold the chicken tractor with chicks in it. And it's going to be a bumpy walk because I'm on uneven ground here. Try to keep the camera steady for you. We have a little chick in there. So we only counted 26 chicks. I have 27. So I'm not entirely certain if I miscounted. Morning, guys. How we doing, huh? Like the new digs? So they're all back there by the feeder. And I'm going to have to go around and um, 
make sure I have 27 chicks. So they all seem pretty happy in here. Um, there's no way I can count them. But let's see if we can get in and get some nice footage. There we go. So the chicken tractor is 24 inches tall. It's a little bigger than six feet. And then it's eight, nine, 10, 11 or 12 feet long. Um, I would have to measure the inside because you know you measure the inside, not the outside. It's totally covered in chicken wire, which is not super predator proof. I, I'm going to staple some plastic along the sheltered outsides and then we'll have to figure out what to do for the open end. Um, I'm inclined to just cover it in plastic at, you know, with the tarp at night and just leave one little corner open for um, oxygen. And it's not a tight seal anyway, but I figure out of sight, out of mind, maybe? I don't know. I'm, I'm a little nervous about that. Um, I'd like to pick up some hardware cloth or something like that to just line the bottom 12 inches so that little raccoon hands cannot reach in and rip out a chick. But they seem to be much, much happier in here than they were in the little pools. We have room to run. We have room to challenge each other. We have room to back off from challenges to each other. <laughs> so they seem pretty happy and I am happy for them. And they'll be here for the next four weeks and then they'll move on to their next life. What is the next? Why? Uh, freezer camp.